Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Nat Walsh. Today we have a card for the Fusion Card Challenge. This is actually my second card on being on their design team, but it's the first video that I've done for them. But this card is super simple. It's almost embarrassing to put the, make a video of this. So we've got a Concord knife, bold um, and beautiful print. I think that's what it's called. Big and bold. Bold and the Beautiful is a TV show. Anywho, it's called a Sympathy Rose. All the information will link down below. We're going to put up with my camera sort of, I think it's like focusing on doing something, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We've got Mermaid Lagoon. We've got Twisted Citron. There is our second color. And I'm going to the last color I'm going to use is squeezed lemonade so if you don't know anything about it the fuse fusion card challenge is a challenge uh, it's you get a inspiration all right so you can either use the image in this case this we have a picture of some hydrangeas, I think they were, I can't quite remember, but they were in a, a bowl. They have the blue, they have some leaves, they, they have some lemons and I think some limes in the picture. So you could either just use that image for your inspiration. You are also given a sketch. In this situation, it's a very simple sketch. It's just got like part of a circle down in one corner which is where our color is or you can use both okay so hence we've got our blue we've got a little bit of green and we've got our yellow for the inspiration picture the sketch where we've got the part of a circle in the in one corner which is going to form our where our rose is. These stems, are, they're huge. They're absolutely huge. Or you, you know, as I said, you can use both, which is what we're going to do here. This technique of this card is everywhere at the moment. And I've got another video coming up very shortly. I think it's on Saturday, which has this technique as well. You gotta try it. It's just so simple. You can obviously tease it up, but we're gonna keep this one very, very simple. This card is a sympathy card. Not that I need any sympathy cards at the moment, but you know, sometimes when you need a sympathy card, you don't particularly want to make one. So, but that's what this is gonna be for. It's another reason why it's kept very, very simple and very plain, okay? We're literally going to let the image have its own shading and it's, you've got to try it. It's just so straightforward and simple. I thought about using this little bud here, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to worry about that at all. My brain, I'm sorry if you can hear my son, COVID lockdown yet again. I decided not to use that sentiment purely because the image the sketch of the on the blog it has that circle so i didn't want to extend too much so i wanted decided to keep it pretty plain and simple and honestly it's really really plain and simple so we've got our sentiment there i think it says sending you i have the packaging but not the actual rubber um love and prayers are with you always or something like that well let, let's have a look in a minute but that's pretty much going to be my card, honestly. Our hearts, prayers and love are with you. So I was almost right. Okay. We're going to use some VersaFine. I'm going to stamp this up twice, although I didn't need to do that the first time. I didn't even season it. That's you know, quality stamps. It still is really good to take the factory coating off a stamp, but it did so well. I'm going to trim this down to 14.1 by 9.7, which gives me a little slither of 
a mat that I can put behind it which is going to be black I have dried this off you do have to be careful with the VersaFine black onyx it can dry quite a while take quite a while to dry I should say apart from the fact we've got our blending there as well so everything is sitting on top I will say I've used my Fiskars craft mat it's not a craft mat Fiskars silicon mat there to do the blending it just holds it's similar in the sense to the waffle flower mixed media mat although I do find I think my craft mat it does sort of the mat itself moves around but the cardstock doesn't move around on on the mat that's pretty much going to be our card because we're making a sympathy card so I didn't want to put too much bells and whistles put any glitter on it put any bling just making sure here that it's all lined up properly I am going to that's glued on flat but we're going to raise it up with a little bit of foam mount so down below I will link the fusion card challenge so I love to see what you make and a link down to my blog so you could see sort of more close-up photos of the card including all the bits and pieces I used but let's be honest it wasn't very much so I hope you have a try you know let me know I'd love to um, see any cards that you've done with this technique if you haven't yet subscribed hit the subscribe to um, my channel and like you're gonna hit subscribe to anything else other than my channel well you might but anyway also hit the like button that just lets YouTube know that you like this sort of video and hopefully they will recommend my channel to somewhere else that's my card that's it so simple I hope you enjoy and I look forward to speaking to you soon take care bye